Welcome to Philip Capital's weekly market watch. We saw gold on a rally since mid last month, reaching a new record high of $1,251 on June 8. Today, we have Miss Ong Yi Ling, investment analyst from Philip Futures, to give us her outlook on gold prices. Yi Ling, spot gold reached a session high of 1254.65 on 17 June. This is just short of its all time high of 1251.20 on 8 June. What has contributed to the gains in gold price? Gold's gains were due to fresh economic worries. The US released worse than expected economic data. Manufacturing in the region covered by the Philadelphia Fed expanded at a much slower pace. Initial jobless claims increased to 472,000 in the week ended June 12. This was poorer than the 450,000 figure expected by economists. This indicated that companies continue to fire workers to maintain profits and the labour market remains weak. Amidst uncertainty in an uneven economic recovery, investors sought gold as a safe haven. Investment demand for gold remains strong as seen from the increased participation in gold ETFs. Bullion holdings in the SPDR Gold Trust increased to a lifetime high of 1308 metric tons. What is your outlook of gold going forward? We anticipate that gold will hit 1300 by the end of this year. European sovereign debt woes will remain in the minds of investors for an extended period of time. Although Spain was able to sell 3.5 billion euros of bonds on 17 June, it paid a hefty premium. This will raise fresh questions about how sustainable it is for Spain to refinance its debt at such high yields. Spain was forced to pay investors more than double the yield that France paid to sell five-year bonds. Over the past month, the media has focused largely on Greece and Spain, but we must remember that countries such as UK and the US have also incurred huge budget deficits to stimulate their economies. Hence, the economic recovery will be uneven across sectors and countries as stimulus packages are slowly withdrawn. Amidst the uncertainty, I think gold will retain its allure. What are some downside risks that investors should be aware of? In 2009, jewellery consumption contributed to 51.6% of total gold demand. However, it's difficult for jewellery demand to provide support for gold as demand is price sensitive. In addition, India being the largest consumer of gold, traditionally makes few purchases in the months of June and July at the onset of the monsoon. The Bombay Bullion Association reported that India's June gold imports may drop below 15 tonnes from 29.9 tonnes a year ago. Hence, should investment demand for gold stall, we will definitely witness a corresponding decline in gold price. This will occur if the economic recovery gains momentum and we see a sustained rally of equities. Demand for risk assets will increase and gold may be left by the sidelines. An astute bullion investor should be aware of such a scenario before gold loses its glitter. Thank you very much for your time, Yiling. That's all for today. Stay tuned next week for more market updates.